so here we have uh, two different coolant uh, made up of different uh, properties um, but from the same company as you can see they are all total uh, this one is a tester from this is total coolant uh, I don't have any training not really uh, why this is the uh, same total but cool water super minus 37 degrees Celsius um, as you can see this one is called uh, organic additive it has organic additive Okay, um, I think this part this is an old coolant. Uh, is, uh, even though the container is red, but the color of the liquid inside is green. Uh, it's more like a green uh, coolant, green color coolant. And um, back then I was using this one until I realized that it doesn't last. That is, um, in fact, if you use it for a long time in your Pojo cooling system, it will start rusting your system. It starts doing the same thing water does. That's for somebody that uses only water in the cooling system, engine cooling system. So, I stopped using it. I actually stopped even before this one became available in Nigeria. I stopped using this one. I started using other brand until they introduced this one in Nigeria. And uh, since ever since this one I've been using, this particular one, um, the the good thing about it is not only that it's recommended for the modern project cars, it's uh, oily. Yeah, so for it to be oily means it's actually doing the lubrication work. It, it lubricates the entire system and prevent rust. Of course, there's no way yeah. oil. We are uh, oil. It's more like uh, if you place an oil, if you pour, pour an oil on a metal, there's no way to rust on that metal. So this is what this coolant does in the radiator, the engine, and uh, every other part of the cooling system. You know, both other like the the metal pipes that the coolant passes through. So it prevents rust by uh, lubricating the entire place while this one um, you know the texture is more like just like water so yeah it has a good boiling point that i can attest to it that's good boiling point uh, that what i mean it warms up faster if you use this before you if you start your car when cold, before you know it, the temperature gauge has gotten close to 90. So the boiling point is very good. But then, like I say, it doesn't last. It means if you are using it, if you, are, you shouldn't use it more than 6 months in your system. So I don't recommend this anymore. And I can understand why people prefer this to this. Because this is very, very cheap. Uh, in Nigeria, uh, specifically Abuja at the moment, it cost, um, I think, 500 naira a liter. This is a liter. It costs uh, 500, either 400 or 500 naira a liter, something like that. While this particular one, which is also a liter, it cost, um, the last time I bought it was uh, 1,900 naira. This is for Nigeria, those in Nigeria. Uh, that's the people that uh, the prices I mentioned will, will be benef will benefit. But if you're outside Nigeria, I uh, wouldn't know how much they sell it in your own country. So I would recommend this. Avoid this as much as you can. Use this. The only time I do tell some people or recommend this to people is like when people uh, that are having a leaking issue. Coolant leak issue in their Pojo vehicles. I will recommend they use this to detect because the good thing about coolant is wherever there is a leakage on that system, it will show it the place by discoloring that place. 
to each other. Unlike water that is, is coming off, is, is burning off and evaporating. But this one will come out, yes, burn off or evaporate. But it will change the color of that place to either reddish, bluish, or whatever. So that's the good thing. Coolant helps to detect leaky spots on the engine, the radiator, or whatever uh, that coolant passes to. So that's when I do recommend this. Now, once the leakage has been spotted and fixed, and con everything is confirmed that the there's no longer coolant leak, then you switch back to this. Um, all right, I hope this makes sense. Like I said, this is a cool F. It's available in Nigeria. It may not be in all total stations, but yeah, in Abuja, quite a number of first, total first stations have it. Cool F, auto super minus 37 degrees Celsius, blah blah blah. You can do your own search on that. Go online and read about this one. Um, it's, it's not a, it's not the concentrated one. It's already pre-mixed, so it's not like you buy and mix with water. No, you have to be only this coolant. So what it means is you have to drain. If you have water in your system, only if you yeah, if you use only water or if you use this particular one, you have to drain everything before you use this one. Drain it, flush it, then put this. For most project cars, uh, it takes about 8 liters to fill um, the cooling system, engine cooling system, including the bleeding. You know, it takes about 8 liters. What I mean, 8 liters doesn't mean everything, all the 8 liters go in without, you know, but mass, 8 liters. Most times, like 7, 6, but of course, you know, you have to build the system. But all the ones I worked on so far, it's about 8 liters. And of course, it's very difficult to drain all the fluid or coolant or water in this the cooling system. It can be quite difficult unless you have to. Uh, go to that the on the engine block or whatever to drain, or when you drop the engine, you know, or you, you do an engine rebuild. Other than that, uh, most times you end up only using five liters. But at least there will be up to 80 percent of coolant in the system, whether the, the mixed or the concentrated ones. Okay, if it's concentrated ones, uh, then you have to. Uh, mix it with water, the required appropriate uh, quantity. Alright, 